we're doing today then? Oh, what's this? What's what? What's all this then? That's a nice looking jacket. I want to look at that jacket. What we got here then? What is that? A supreme jacket. I'll make me f***ing look amazing. I want that in me right now. Yep, I've decided I want that jacket. I want it. Excuse me, shopkeep. You got a jacket, I want it. Oh, there's no shopkeep. Ladies and gents, we have wearables. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to put things on like this lovely, lovely jacket. And just have a little look around and see what we can do now. This is a whole new system, so let's get right into it. Hmm, yeah, this is going to be good. So the wearable system sets out to give you increased customization for your avatars. I'm talking like this hard hat, if you want to get nice and funky. Or we've got these lovely lush jackets, which you can upload, buy and trade at the marketplace. So we're going to show you how to do these things. Uh, you know what? I'm going to start off with this hard hat and put it on my face because I need to be protected. Ever want to role play as a cheeky construction worker with this beautiful beast? Well, now you can inside Somnium Space. You don't do it this way. We're going to look at how to put this on your noggin and customize how it looks and feels because because this wearable system unlocks real-time avatar customization. So let's get this on your head. It's quite simple, really. Open up your tablet and there should be an app called Wearables. Here, we've got a few different options for you. To find out where you can put this helmet onto your avatar, click on the Enable Colliders. This shows you points on your avatar where you can bind that helmet to. So it's just a case of finding where you want to put stuff and it sticks there like glue. We've got this mode here, Astral Form, which lets you take the helmet or any item really and position it exactly where you want to put it, giving you complete and utter control over your current avatar. This system allows, again, unlimited amount of customization you want it a little bit bigger a little bit smaller easy to do this helmet looks a little bit too big on my f on my small face so let's uh grab it pinch it together and we can make it smaller pop it back on get it lined up right and there we go now to put it into our avatar we simply disable astral form and get rid of our colliders get the mirror open and we can see that helmet on our head it will stay there regardless of what we do now you can only get rid of it if you remove it from the wearables app. So you can look as fabulous as me and do all this funky stuff with a simple few cheeky clicks. You can look so good. I mean, it doesn't really stop there. I mean, why do I have to wear a hard hat inside a virtual reality game? I won't wear one in real life. So let's go back into the avatar selection mode. And, you know, just for giggles, let's make it obscenely big because with the wearable system, you can do that. Again, once you bound it onto your, your character and get back to your avatar, it will stay there regardless of what you do now. You can as well move this item around your body if you don't want to put it there. But yeah, this is all good. I'm a turtle! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle! Let's look at getting this jacket put onto our avatar. Now bear in mind, my current avatar already has a hoodie on, so putting a jacket on top of a hoodie is going to look a little bit weird, but I've done it just to prove that you can pretty much do anything you want with your avatar. You're probably wondering, how am I going to get that jacket to line up perfectly with my current avatar? How am I going to get that T-pose to wrap around my body like a silk cloth? Well, the wearable system has got something quite impressive built straight into it. The developers here at Sony Space are building a fine-tuned system. As you can see at the minute, T-Pose is not lined up, but let's get it dinked up to our bones and make it look amazing. Let's do it. What the wearable system does is give you the ability to fine tune your wearable. So as you can see here, you can bind bones of the wearable to bones on your avatar. I'm speed running through this bit because the sheer amount of customization and fine tuning is just out of this world. Once you're semi happy with what you've come up with, then it's a simple case of going back into the actual form disabling the colliders and your wearable should now if you fine tune it good enough i haven't here but this is just an example your wearable will now follow your arms your wrists your head your legs your entire body it should be in sync bear in mind you could spend literal hours fine tuning any wearable you want there's really no limit but once you're happy with it it stays that way for good this applies to any wearable so there's no need to faff about if you want to change stuff out. What I found works best is if you don't want a wearable on, just hide it. That way your current setup is saved and it'll always stay there. Simple case of toggling this button and it goes away. Simple as that. 
And if you want to bring the wearable back, just press the same button again to toggle it back on. It's really that easy. The best thing to do is explore with wearables, try them on, try some weird combinations. Man, if for any reason you don't want an item on, you can simply remove it. And here we go, look. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle helmet is now off the mob app. Brand new wearables will be available in the marketplace. You can upload your own, you can create your own, you can sell your own. Um, there's no limit to this at all. So get creating and get wearing.